Hey golf people, you know that I am truly an optimist, but I've been thinking about it lately and there are just a few things that really bug me. And on today's video, we're gonna cover the top five things that I hate about the current state of golf. And we're gonna find some ways that we can actually fix that. By the way, some of these are probably going to be controversial, so don't shy away from the comment section. I'd love to know what you think as well. Let me know down below as we go through this list. Number one on my list is what I think is the worst rule in the game of golf and something that absolutely I think needs to change and I'll tell you why. It's the fact that if you land in a divot in the fairway, you get penalized because you cannot move your ball out of that divot. You've got to play it where it lies. Now I know in golf, you've got to play it where it lies but there's also something called ground under repair. So why are we not considering that when our ball lands in something that should have been a great shot with a great chance and all of a sudden becomes a very difficult situation? All the time when I'm playing at my club, there are little white lines drawn around the ground and that signals that you can take free relief from that, take a drop and hit a shot from a good proper lie. But for some reason, the fine folks at the USGA and the RNA don't think that a divot qualifies as that. And I'm here to tell you, I think it absolutely does. So I suggest we all write our local rules officials at the USGA, the RNA, or your golf governing body and demand that they change this rule. I just think it would make golf a whole heck of a lot more enjoyable, especially for beginners out there who it's hard enough to play this game. Why make it that much more difficult for them. Let's change that rule, guys. My number two on this list are golf commentators. My God, guys, do network executives just go around and say, hey, let's find a dream team of the most boring people on the planet and put them on this network to talk about golf. I mean, they are the fakest personalities on the planet. Hey, Jim, back to you in the studio. <laughs> give me a break. Give me a Rick Shield. Give me a Peter Finch. Give me the no laying up guy. Give me just about anybody on YouTube that has one entertaining bone in their body. I promise you it will be better than your average Sunday afternoon commentators on network television. The only exception to this rule is David Faraday, keep that guy and get rid of the rest of the lot. <laughs> but seriously, they suck. Number three on things that I hate about the current state of golf is this new world handicapping system and how ridiculous, insane the calculation is. In fact, I did a video about it, which I will link up here above. You've gotta be a rocket scientist to figure out a golf handicap and it should not have to be that way. A lot of folks have complained that they've been penalized playing forward tees. You've got seniors and people who are now having to give up strokes just to play a little bit closer where they actually should be playing. And again, the USGA and the other governing bodies are encouraging us to tee the ball forward and yet they're penalizing us at the same time. This system has a number of inconsistencies and it's just not a very fair system and I think we need to change it. Number four on my list is the fact that golf club manufacturers have created a category of clubs called game improvement irons. So these clubs are more consistent, they're more forgiving on mishits, and they're just plain easier to hit, right? A golf club that an average mere mortal out there plays is not going to be the same club as that little thin butter knife blade the pros are playing when it comes to irons. And yet, we have the exact same drivers the pros use, they market to us, Ricky Fowler's driver or Dustin Johnson's driver. I don't want to play with Dustin Johnson's driver. I am not as good as Dustin Johnson. I want to play with the driver that's more forgiving that will actually hit it longer than Dustin Johnson, just like my irons will go longer and be more forgiving than Dustin Johnson's irons. I think that's a huge miss when it comes to golf club manufacturing. I hope it's a category that the manufacturers focus on here moving forward. I don't think that we should be playing the same drivers as the pros and I am sticking to it. Number five is the fact that women and children the very folks that we're trying to introduce this game to so that we can grow the game 
have these awful tea boxes that are in no way as visually appealing or as exciting as the men's teas. When you're standing back on the tea boxes and you take in this beautiful scene, it's something to behold. The view from the tips is the best view, so we're giving our best golfers the best view of the course. And our ladies and our children are getting treated even worse. It's almost an afterthought by golf course architects. Ah, let's just stick some red tees over there. Who's gonna play from red tees? Especially if they don't look good, right? Those are the ladies tees. I think we need to change the colors of the tees to something that's core specific, that's completely agnostic. The black, blue, white, red system is outdated in my opinion. Let's create gender agnostic colors. Hey, what if I wanna play the ladies tees? Or what if I wanna play the junior tees and really work on my short game or my mid irons that week? I think it should be just as visually stimulating to play those as it is to play the men's tees or the championship tees or whatever you call them at your club. I highly recommend you approach your professional, your greenskeeper, or maybe even your general manager and ask them to change the colors of the tees and then we need golf course architects in this business to start taking our ladies and children seriously. So there you have it. That's my list of the top five things I hate about golf and how I think we can fix it. I'm sure there are going to be a few dissenting opinions on this list. So let me know below. Let me know what you think and let me know what I missed. I would absolutely love to hear it. If you haven't already, hit subscribe down below, support this show, and I'll catch you back here very soon on another edition of Let's Play through. Give me the average golfer. Give me Eric Anders Lang. Give me Kyle Berkshire. Give me Mr. Short Game. Give me Alex Etches. Give me SAS. TXG. Give me the Bogey Brothers, man. Give me Crossfield. Give them to me. Give me good good. Give me good good.